welcome to Bosco Campus Vision and you are watching the Campus Television channel of Kottiyam Don Bosco College. And in our lecture today, we will be discussing some internet access methods. We will be discussing some 11 types of ways in which a user can access internet, a user, a user can connect to the internet. They are dial-up connection, digital subscriber line DSL, ISDN integrated services digital network, cable network, fiber optic, internet over satellites IOS, cellular broadband, internet in mobile phones, Wi-Fi, WiMAX and broadband over power line. All of us know that internet is a global connection of interconnected networks. It is the widest and the biggest WAN that is existing in the world, wild area network. And the internet can be accessed by anyone in anywhere at any time. The internet contains multitude of services. There is information service that is available on the internet, world wide web. There are so many search engines. There is multitude of information in the internet. There are so many communication facilities existing in the internet, email, chats, voice over internet, video conferencing, video chats, social networking sites. There are so many communication facilities. There is e-commerce facility, there is e-banking facility, electronic governance and the like. So internet is a, such a wonderful technology that contains so many services. Now, how to get connected to internet? The internet connection is provided by a service provider known as Internet Service Provider, ISP. What is an ISP? ISP is a company which provides internet access to the user for a fee, for money. Some of the common examples that we know are the BSNL or MTNL or AsiaNet, Satyam, Airtel, DishNet, etc. There are so many popular internet service providers in India. They provide internet, internet access to the users in many forms. So internet is such a wonderful technology that has so many services in it and we need to get connected to the internet to access the different facilities of the internet. So we shall see what are some of the ways in which we can access the internet. The first way to access the internet is known as dial-up connection by using a dial-up connection. In dial-up connection, the internet is accessed using a telephone line and a modem. A telephone line and a modem. The connection is established by dialing a number. The internet service provider will give us an ISP number. So by dialing that number, we are able to get connected with the internet. The dial-up connection uses analog telephone line. And the an analog telephone line uses continuous data. Our computers use digital data. So there need to be a conversion and reconversion. So this encoding and decoding is done by a device called modem. Modem stands for modulation, demodulation. The disadvantage of the dial-up connection is that the dial-up connection is very slow and it may take much time to load the web pages. The maximum speed is only 56 kilobits per second. Added to that, another disadvantage of dial-up connection is that when connected to the internet, it is not possible to make or receive phone calls. So simultaneously, phone call and internet access cannot happen, only one at a time. When you are accessing the internet, we cannot make calls, we cannot receive calls. So that is dial-up connection. The second way to get connected to internet is known as DSL, Digital Subscriber Line. And in digital also, it uses an existing telephone line and a modem. Now the advantage of DSL is that DSL can integrate the phone service and the internet service. Simultaneously, the phone service and the internet service can go on. You can make the phone calls. At the same time, you can access the internet. Here, there is no need to dial the ISP number because the user is always connected to the internet. The speed can vary from 256 kilobits per second to 640 kilobits per second. There are two categories of DSLs known as ADSL and SDSL. 
ADSL stands for Asymmetric Digital Subscriber Line and SDSL stands for Symmetric Digital Subscriber Line. What is Asymmetric? In the Asymmetric DSL, the uploading and the downloading are not on the same speed. The downloading is of much higher speed compared to the uploading. But in the case of SDSL, the uploading as well as the downloading is of same speed, symmetric. Asymmetric means higher speed for downloading, lower spe speed for uploading. SDSL means both uploading and uplo downloading are of same speed. So that is digital subscriber line. The third method that we learn that is used for accessing internet is known as ISDN integrated services digital network isdn is an international communication standard for sending voice data video data or, or text data over digital telephone lines so it allows fast digital connection isdn is an upgraded telephone service or it is an upgraded telephone line that can be used for high speed internet access and for regular telephone call simultaneously. So like a DSL, ISDN also allows simultaneous phone service as well as internet access and it is an international communication standard that, that is of very high speed. The next way to access internet is using a cable network. Now cable network provides broadband internet connection using a cable TV line. We know we are familiar with the cable TV line, the coaxial cables that are used for our, our uh, TV connections. Now cable networks uses these cable TV lines to access the internet. The computer is connected to the cable modem using a network interface card that is installed on your computer using an Ethernet cable. So here we are able to access the internet using the cable TV lines with the help of a cable modem. The cable internet connection speed varies with the number of users on the service at a particular time. The speed varies. In Kerala, Asianet provides internet over cable TV network and the cable network uses coaxial cables for data transmission. So it is a broadband internet connection using cable TV lines. The next method to access the internet is called fiber optic. Now this is the latest broadband service, the fiber optic. And it is the fastest internet connection so far. The internet connect service provided by the fiber optic is quite limited because of the high cost and it is also quite difficult to install. But in the recent past years, fiber optic internet access has become more available and affordable for consumers and business. So this is the fastest, fastest internet connection or fastest internet access method that is existing today. The speed will vary from 2 Mbps, megabits per second to 1 Gbps, gigabits per second. The increasing number of service providers make this access method a better alternative to the cable network. So this is a fiber optic key is a fastest internet connection that is existing today and it is becoming very common and affordable to even common users today. The next way to access internet is internet over satellite IOS. Now IOS internet over satellite allows users to access high speed internet connection using satellites. Now satellite internet service is used in ships or in locations where the cable or the telephone access is not possible in mountainous areas, in ships etc. IOS is used. Now IOS uses a base station, VSAT ground station, very small aperture terminal. VSAT ground stations with the dish antenna and they are used for connecting to satellites. Due to the long distance between satellites and ground stations dish antennas, the internet over satellite is slower than any other methods but it is faster than the dial up connection. So IOS is accessing internet over satellites. The next way to access internet is known as cellular broadband. Now what is cellular broadband? The internet connection is available through cell phone. So using a cell phone, we can access internet from our PC, from our laptop. So it is accessing internet on our 
computers on our laptops using a cell phone you, using a bluetooth or a usb connector in india there is reliance net connect or uh, idea net setter they provide cellular broadband service so it is not accessing internet on the mobile but it is accessing internet on our computers on our laptops using a cell phone idea net setter is a example we are familiar with now cellular broadband connections are useful when the user is traveling by car or by train etc so broadband that is available on our computers using a cell phone is known as cellular broadband the next way to access the internet is internet in mobile phones we are all familiar with all of us are using internet in mobile phones the wireless internet connectivity in cell phones is growing in popularity today everybody is using today the mobile service providers they allow the users to connect to the internet using the cellular telephone network the cellular telephone networks is made available to access the internet on the mobile phones there are two most popular mobile system technologies that are used for accessing internet over mobile phones they are edge and edvo let's see what is edge and edvo edg edge stands for enhanced data rates for gsm evolution when we talked about uh, digital network we talked about uh, gsm and cdma in gsm mobiles the user is able to change the sim you can keep the mobile set and put uh, the sim of any provider but in the case of cdma the sim is integrated in the mobile you cannot change the sim so that's the difference between gsm and cdma now the technology that is used to access internet in gsm is known as edge and the technology that is used to access internet in cdma mobiles is known as edvo evolution data optimized and when we consider the speed of internet access in mobiles the edvo that is used in cdma technologies little faster than the edge that is used in gsm technologies so that is accessing internet in mobile phones the next most common way to access internet we are familiar with is wi-fi wi-fi is a name of a popular wireless networking technology that uses radio waves to provide wireless high speed internet we have heard about wireless lan local area network that is wireless this wireless lan is constituted using a wi-fi connection the wi-fi alliance defines wi-fi as any wireless local area network products that are based on the IEEE 802.11 standard so one way the most popular way of accessing internet is wi-fi and how does a wi-fi work the telephone connection or the cable connection is connected to a wireless modem wi-fi modem and many devices can use wi-fi for example your computers video game consoles smartphones and digital cameras tablet computers and digital audio players etc can get connected to this wi-fi so this wi-fi modem that will act as an access point the wi-fi modem that acts as a hotspot it has got, it has got a range of maybe 20 meters inside a building or it may have a greater distance out outdoor so from this hotspot from this access point from this wi-fi modem a number of devices can access the internet in the limited area of maybe 20 meters or little more than that so wi-fi is a common way of accessing internet the wi-fi modem enables the access of internet from this access point within a limited space very often the wi-fi is protected with a password you, you have to log on to the wi-fi network using the password that is set by the network administrator of the institute so wi-fi is one of the most common methods of accessing internet today another way to access internet is known as wimax while wi-fi enables accessing of internet in a short distance in a short area wimax allows the accessing of internet in a wide area it is a type of wireless technology that provides wireless internet service over longer distance than Wi-Fi. So longer distance than Wi-Fi. Now what is WiMAX standing for? Worldwide interoperability for microwave access. That is a full form of WiMAX. So it is and WiMAX is based on 
the standard IEEE 802.16 technology and it can provide broadband wireless access up to 30 miles. We know Wi-Fi enables access for maybe 20 meters or a little more than that. But here WiMAX enables internet access over 30 miles, a greater distance than Wi-Fi. WiMAX uses fixed and mobile stations fixed stations as well as mobile stations, moving stations to provide users with access to high speed voice, data and other internet connectivity. The equipment has got two parts. First one is the base station that is installed by the service provider to provide connectivity in a coverage area. And the second part is the receiver that is installed by the client. WiMAX technology is not so popular because of its high cost. So, WiMAX is a way of providing wireless internet access to a wide area. It covers a much wider area than the Wi-Fi. And the last internet access method that we will discuss today is known as BPL, Broadband Over Power Line. Power line we know, all our homes have this power line, the electricity line. So internet is provided using this power line. So BPL is the delivery of broadband over the existing low and medium voltage electric power distribution network. Every home has got this electric power distribution network. The speed of BPL can be compared to that of the DSL as well as cable modern speed. So it is of good speed. BPL can be provided to homes using existing electrical connections and outlets. So this is the advantage of it. We can provide internet using the existing electrical power lines. It is an emerging technology that is available in very limited areas today. It is not very popular today. But it has significant potential because power lines are installed in every home and everywhere. So there is no need to build new broadband facilities for any consumer. So this particular facility BPL can become a potential popular way of internet access in the future because, because every home has this power line that is already installed in their home. So BPL is accessing the broadband internet connection using in the power line in a home or in a building. So dear viewers, we are coming to the end of this short lecture. We are discussed about the different types of internet access methods. We said internet is such a popular and useful technology that is existing today. There are so many information services in the internet. There are so many communication services in the internet. There, are, there is electronic commerce. There is electronic banking. There is electronic government. There are so many services, useful services that is in the internet. Now, how to get connected to the internet? There are many ways to get connected with the internet. We have discussed 11 ways of getting connected to internet or accessing internet. They are the dial-up connection, the DSL, digital subscriber line, the ISDN, integrated services digital network, the cable network, the fiber optic, internet over satellite, cellular broadband, internet in mobile phones, Wi-Fi, WiMAX and broadband over power line or BPL. I hope this video was useful to you. I hope this video will help you to prepare for your examination and this video will help you in your life. Thank you for your patient listening.